Shannon Kenny, CEO and founder of Prontopia. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Um, well, I'm excited to talk to you about Prontopia. Prontopia is a platform that provides trusted in-person help exactly when and where you need it. We are reinventing a proven concept from luxury, the concierge, for everyone. Prontopia makes travel stress-free and helps seniors live safely at home by providing an extra helping hand with logistical problems that can ruin a trip and limit seniors' quality of life. Have you ever been lost and stranded navigating a maze of medieval streets by foot, late for your tour meeting point, or frustrated en route to meet your Airbnb host with luggage, a stroller, and kids, or experience challenges getting the correct medication at a foreign pharmacy? As a travel professional and mom traveling with kids, I need a person to help me, not a content app. And like every Gen X woman today, I needed a helping hand for my aging parents when I couldn't be there. We had excellent caregivers for my dad, but it seemed that no sooner did the caregiver leave that a problem occurred. He couldn't use the remote control or the medications were wrong. With Prontopia, the help you need is just a click away. The Prontopia platform is fully launched and earning revenue in seven cities and Europe and the US. We earn 25% commission on our affordable pay-as-you-go fees and generate additional revenue by upselling adjacent products and productizing our services with B2B partners. Last November, when the Venice flood hit, we had triple digit spikes in customer engagement. Fast forward a few months later to COVID, we had a 600% increase in user engagement. These emergency response experiences demonstrated our value proposition, social capital, and revealed the dangerous lack of access to help from a trusted person locally while traveling and for the vulnerable populations in our cities today. We have over 500 local assistants signed up and 4,000 registered customers. Travel customers use us an average of two times per week and city resident customers use us an average of one time per week. We are currently seeing a 100% increase in revenue month over month. Our team, our team is building technology that meets our customers where they are with booking and communication channels that are easy and accessible for users age 55 and older who do not traditionally use mobile apps. Our customer web app allows us to integrate a convenient variety of chat and telephony tools, as well as customized APIs for partner integrations. We complete user data gaps by collecting valuable data about the user experience that is currently fragmented and offline. At scale, this data will be valuable for improving the lives of our users, helping our partners to optimize their services and supporting city resilience. In good times and bad, the unmet needs in our market are vast and growing. City government and nonprofit agencies do not have the bandwidth today to provide the human services residents and travelers need. The senior city services market is $480 billion globally and will double by 2030. The incidental in-trip needs market for our customer segments is estimated at $70 billion. We are using a community building digital content strategy to generate initial customer demand and validate the value propositions we offer to partners. Our scale up opportunity is through our partnerships with holiday rental hosts, tour operators, city agencies, and insurance and benefits providers. Our strongest partnerships to date have been in the holiday rentals and tours and activities sectors from holiday rental hosts who recommend Prontopia on their booking confirmations for easy arrival and tour guides for small group tours who package us up so that their customers don't get lost en route to the meeting point. For seniors, we are working with HR benefits providers to offer services that help lighten the caregiving burden for employees and launching a pilot with telemedicine partners to provide in-person customer support to patients who struggle with using technology. Other platforms can be considered comparable to select services we provide. If you need a ride, request Uber. If you need groceries, use Instacart. If you need a friendly helping hand, use Prontopia. We are putting people first by providing reciprocal value to all the stakeholders on our platform, cities, customers, locals, and partners. We generate valuable social capital that enables us to expand quickly across diverse verticals and service categories. We are a global team of 10 talented change makers ready to lend a helping hand. 
Technology that disregards human needs is weak. Building community, embracing our common humanity, and creating technology solutions that benefit all of us is powerful. Our work helping make life easier in the city makes us feel a part of something bigger than ourselves, and that is what life is all about. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon. Well done. So Thank Dragon's you. local on-demand marketplace, what do you think? So, Shannon, um, thanks, thanks for the presentation. Uh, I like the, the idea, but I'm struggling to understand, is it, a, is it a social service or is it a business, right? And, and you know, I think certainly there are lots of people that would like the, the assistance and that's, and that's great and that's noble in itself. But in terms of the business opportunity, 500 assistants, um, I think you mentioned 70 billion market opportunity. I'm not quite sure how, you, how that comes about. But in terms of the scalability, and the economics, you know, older people don't pay much if you're taking just a small 25% of that. How does that all work out into a business? Right. So um, I'll address a few points in your question. We have 500 assistants today. And so as with any on-demand model, the liquidity uh, and critical mass between supply and demand is something that we'll, we continue to pay attention to. So we will need money more to serve that market of, of 70 billion in the traveler space. And, and obviously, we all, we all know that the senior um, incidental home care space is, is vast and growing. Um, so we will need to ensure, above all, we're able to continue to recruit and keep low churn of quality providers. Um, regarding who pays, um, and is it a social service? Currently, there are some other models, both in Europe and the US, in which it's a range, whether it's the caregiver or the patient, in the senior space or uh, HR reimbursement here in, here in the US um, and, and in our Italy market, you see models where there's HR reimbursement or benefits re reimbursement. Um, with travelers, it's the, the traveler pays. Um, and we also have tested with some B to B to C um, in particular with our holiday rental partners where it's, um, it's easier for them to download these services to us. Okay, but that means it's, it's it's obviously a slow or a, a small transaction value. So you need lots of transactions, and therefore you need not lots, lots of assistance around the world yes. globally, not to scale into them. Okay, okay. Yes. And how, we, how do you sign up those assistants? We um, iteratively created a streamlined and scalable process. We have a five stage on recruiting and onboarding process. Um, they, they do a two-part form to determine their eligibility. If they are eligible, um, they then sign up for a WhatsApp interview with our in-city recruiter. Um, if they pass that, they take a simple online quiz. Then we obtain a background check and they're onboarded onto the app. Okay, but in terms of, you know, in terms of rollout, I mean, we've done investments in similar, in similar type of services, right? And what we found very difficult is, is to roll them out on large scale. You know, yeah. I understand that if you do a city and you move to the next city, that you know, city by city is probably is probably okay. But then we have several thousand cities on the planet, um, you know, and, and in order to go global. So, what would your strategy be in order to accelerate, um, you know, the city by city growth? That's uh, one question. And then the second question is: is how do you deal with differentiation in service across those locations that you will be offering services? Yes. Um our plan for city expansion is to follow our partnerships in a data-driven way. So as we're progressively obtaining larger partnerships, we're able to see, for example, in the holiday rental host space, um, if we have a partner that has 400 rentals in our Italy market and a certain type of customer and it's doing well and what's the conversion, um, we, you know, to partner with them to expand to our next city according to the reach that we can attain with cities in, in uh, with partners in multiple cities and multiple countries. Um, in the senior space, likewise, uh, the part, you know, I anticipate that we will uh, progressively ratchet up our partnerships and be able to advance to cities with a little bit of knowledge about what the market exists for us and how we can get there fast. Great. Thank you very much, Shannon. Thank Thanks, Dragons. Thanks, everybody. Well done.